Hello, second grade, and welcome back to more exciting news about our caterpillars. I have had the most exciting weekend getting to watch them grow and eat, and I cannot wait to share with you. When you get to the video with our new caterpillar buddies, you might notice that my dog Henry is back. He was very concerned. Let me know if you spot him in our video. Let's dive in to our parts of a caterpillar. Our main goal today is to learn different parts of our caterpillar, observe our caterpillars, and then write about the notices and one and that we see about the way that our caterpillars look now. Okay, here's some caterpillar anatomy. They're in the larva stage. At the top you see we have their antennas. And our antennas are really important because Unfortunately, our caterpillars cannot see very well, and they use their antennas to help them navigate where they are going. We have their mouth, and as we know that caterpillars are obsessed with eating, it's what they love to do. And this is all a part of their head. In the middle here we have their thorax, which is followed by their abdomen, and then we also have their legs. And their legs are super interesting to me because they have three pairs, so two plus two plus two equals six, of regular legs that help them move. And then as we go and dive into our vocabulary, we'll talk about how they have some legs in the back that are really more of like claws that help them grip and move around. And in the video of our caterpillars, we can see them moving them around. They were so out and about this weekend. All right, let's dive back into a little bit more of our vocabulary. We've been talking a lot about our life cycles, and that is the stages a living thing goes through. And for our caterpillars, we have already moved through one of our life cycles. We, they had been in their egg. They've now come out of the egg, and which was a pupa, and then and or they're moving into their next stage as a larva. And they don't have any wings. They are just currently little, little caterpillars moving around. All right, so like we said, we had in our thing, we talked about the thorax, which is right here. It's the second part of the caterpillar and is a part that has their legs. Now, we were talking about the prolegs. And the prolegs are those funny things in the back that I told you are like their claws, and they're actually fake legs and these are located in the abdomen area all the legs in the back are actually fake they look like legs but they're really there to help them grip onto things and they're called pro legs we talked about the abdomen being the third section of their bodies the hooks are those pro legs that i'm talking about they're, they look like legs and they help the caterpillar to climb um the way that the caterpillars breathe is called spiracles. I think I'm saying it right. And those are breathing holes. And then we talked about how their antennas help them navigate where they're going because they can't see very well. And then their true legs are those three pairs of legs at the front that are their actual legs. All right, let's enjoy this video together and learn a little bit more about our caterpillar friends. Welcome to my treehouse. I've got something really interesting to show you. Have a look at these. They're eggs. Most mini bees come from eggs. These ones were laid by a butterfly. But the fascinating thing is that when these hatch, they won't be butterflies. Not just yet. They'll be something else. Do you know what? Have a look in here. Do you know what that is on the leaf? Yes, it's a caterpillar. And here's another one. Look at its beautiful colours. Caterpillars are eating machines. They eat and eat and eat as much as they can. That's their job, to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's have a closer look. Here's a caterpillar busily eating away. Caterpillars have only six legs. It looks like they have many more. But the extra ones aren't legs at all. They're just little hooks to hold onto the leaves. A caterpillar crawls around, munching and munching and getting bigger and bigger. Look, here's one that's just a few days old. And next to it is one that's two weeks old. Look how much it's grown. 
But they're not fully grown up even then, because that's when something really magical happens. They wrap themselves up for a big sleep. And when they wake up, they're a butterfly. I've got two sleeping here. It looks a bit like a caterpillar in a sleeping bag, doesn't it? It's called a chrysalis. And when it wakes up, it will be a beautiful butterfly. When you wake up in the morning, you look the same as you did when you went to bed. But when a caterpillar goes to sleep, it changes into a butterfly. Imagine if that happened to you. Wow! <laughs> but a beetle's teeth are so sharp, it can bite right through wood. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we are learning so much about our caterpillar friends. Now let's talk about what we have left to do today. On our next slide, we have the most I'm awesome trying. video of our actual real life caterpillars. I have been recording them all weekend and man, have they been growing. After we watch this video, the last thing that we have to do today, oh no, can you already spot Henry in the video? The last thing that we have today is I have kept our butterfly journal going and we already wrote about day one and then day two, day three, and day four happened when we were over the weekend. So I have been measuring them. Can you already spot the difference? Um, look at their growth. So your exit ticket today is what changes over the four days do you notice about the caterpillars? Has their size, color, shape changed? All right, second grade, I will see you later.